It looks like that you have already decided that your next travel destination is Georgia. Now, the first question in your pre-travel research is, do I need a visa to enter this beautiful country and how to get one? Obviously, it depends on your citizenship and some other aspects, which I will tell you in detail in the last part of this video. Meanwhile, let's cover the basics of how to get to Georgia, and until teleporting is discovered, the list is only consists of three ways to do that. It's either by flying or by train, and final option is to arrive in Georgia by road. So, flying to Georgia. Georgia has three international airports in Tbilisi, Kutaisi and Batumi. Currently, there are direct flights to Georgia from more than 40 cities in Western and Eastern Europe, Central Asia, China, India and the Middle East. Kutaisi Airport is a hub for budget airlines, so if this is your option, then most probably your journey will start from this Georgian city. Budget carrier Wizair, for instance, operates direct flights to Kutaisi from cities in Germany, Greece, Italy, Spain and elsewhere in Europe. Bear in mind that most schedules are limited to 2-3 flights per week. Batumi Airport hosts flights from Turkey, UAE, Israel and other countries. The list becomes bigger during summer navigation as this is the most popular time for travelers to enjoy this Black Sea town in Georgia. Tbilisi International Airport, Georgia's main hub, is serviced by a number of international companies including Qatar Airways, Turkish Airways, Fly Dubai Lufthansa, AirAsia X and the national carrier Georgian Airways. Next option is arriving to Georgia by train. Rail is a convenient way to travel between the three countries in the South Caucasus, Georgia, Armenia and Azerbaijan. There are overnight sleeper services connecting three capitals, from Baku to Tbilisi and from Yerevan to Tbilisi. So if you decide to journey all three countries in one go, you may start your tour in Azerbaijan and then use the train for your cross-country transfers to Georgia and then to Armenia. Kindly note that as of spring 2024, trains from Baku to Tbilisi are temporarily not operating due to existing COVID-19 restrictions in Azerbaijan. Hopefully these will soon be lifted. Next on, entering Georgia by road. Georgia's land borders with Armenia, Azerbaijan, Turkey and Russia are all open for international tourists. Generally speaking, crossing into Georgia overland is a simple and straightforward process. You can enter Georgia by road using international passenger buses, private taxis or by self-driving. If you drive from Armenia, there are three checkpoints depending on where in Armenia you're coming from or what is your destination in Georgia is. The most convenient crossing for travelers is at Bagratashen Sadakhlo for traveling from Yerevan to Tbilisi. If you drive from Turkey, then the main checkpoint on the Georgia-Turkey border is at Hopa Sarpi, 20 kilometers south of Batumi. This is the most convenient option for reaching Georgia from Trabzon in Turkey. If you drive from Azerbaijan, there are two checkpoints along the Georgia-Azerbaijan border. Balakan Lagodehi is used for traveling from Sheki to Kaheti or Tbilisi. A second checkpoint at Red Bridge Sihli, southeast of Tbilisi, is convenient for entering Georgia from Ganja. From Baku, you can take either route. And finally, if you drive from Russia, there is only one land border crossing between Russia and Georgia at Verkhny Lars Kazbegi in the mountains north of Tbilisi. There are daily direct vans from Russian town of Vladikavkaz to Tbilisi traveling via the spectacular Georgian military highway. Well, the way we get to Georgia is decided, so now is the time to explain what the Georgia entry visa requirements are. First of all, a little acknowledgement. For the purpose of this video, we discussed the tourist visa only. Georgia has an extremely generous visa exemption policy. Currently, passport holders from 98 countries, including the EU countries, the CIS countries, Australia, the US and the UK, are permitted to enter Georgia without a visa for the period of up to one whole year. To see the full list of these countries, check the link in the description. On that page, you can also run through a very simple process of finding out your personal visa requirements just by pressing on Do I need a visa button. More to that, passport holders from an additional 65 plus countries are eligible for either a 30 or 90 day tourist e-visa, which you can get online before you arrive. For your convenience, I have included a link to e-visa application portal in this video's description as well. Let's see some other requirements to enter Georgia. Upon arrival on Georgia's border control, you will also be required to have the following. A passport that's valid for six months beyond your intended stay in Georgia, proof of health and travel insurance for the duration of your stay, proof of accommodation booking in Georgia, and return air ticket or proof of onward travel. And if you're still not sure about what exactly you will be doing and seeing in Georgia, watch the top 10 absolutely must-have experiences list on our channel right now. Until next time, safe and happy travels.